Hey you guys, I started off with one and a half yards of knit fabric which is kind of ideal for this type of dress. Um, it's 54 inches of fabric in inches. I'm 5'6", so maybe you can kind of gauge from that how much fabric you'll need. The dress will be about 49 inches long when it's when it's done. The fabric was 64 inches wide, which was too big, so I had to trim some of it off. I trimmed it um, down to about 57 inches wide, which folded is 28 and a half, which is right here. You see me, I'm cutting all the way across. Um, I like my dresses like this to be between 26 and 28 inches across for my body shape and size. So that's just the piece that I cut. Then I cut three inches off the bottom or the top, it doesn't really matter at this point, of the fabric. Um, that's going to be used as the strap. Plus, it's going to help, you know, shorten the dress because it's still kind of long. Um, this left about 51 inches of fabric, which with the hem and the casings will wind up being about 49 inches when it's done. Then you'll need to turn the fabric, fold it inside out, um, and pin the edges. That's going to be the seam, which is going to be a back seam. It's only going to be one seam in the dress. Um, I used a serger on mine, but you don't have to. You can just sew with the sewing machine and just cut the little excess fabric off. Um, to ensure, then you're going to need to put it in the middle, the seam in the middle. But to ensure it's in the middle, kind of fold the top down and see where that fold is on the front of the fabric. That gets there from it being on the bolt. Um... So that's kind of helping you can help you line up the back to make sure it's in the middle. Um, washing the fabric or ironing it will take that out. Now for the um, armholes, you'll need to measure. Well, I measured six inches down and made a mark, and then three inches across and made another mark, which turned out it was a smidge too big I probably should have did maybe five inches down or maybe even four because once you cut it there are the, um, sh there's the markings but you're gonna kind of draw a armhole I'll show that in the next slide but once you hem it it gets a little it gets bigger from what you cut it so I probably should have did a little smaller but anyway there's the armhole and you're going to do this on both sides. And I'm just showing you how it looks after you cut it. You'll have two of those, one on each side. Again, that was they I made them a little too big, but that's okay. So here's me pinning the armholes and making a narrow hem. Again, you'll be doing that on both sides. And then you will need to pin the top back and front for the casings. Um, I believe those are maybe a little bit bigger than an inch or so down. And you just pin it and you're going to make a narrow hem for the casings front and back. And as you can see, I'm pretty good at centering that. I centered that pretty well. Um, that's what it looks like after you've sewn both the casings in the front and the back. This is the strap. You're going to fold in half, wrong sides out, and sew um, all the way down and around. You're going to leave a kind of a big opening to turn the strap. You have to turn it, so you have to leave, leave a big opening. That's what it looks like when you sew to the end of the strap all the way down. It'll be like that on both ends. Then you'll need to turn the strap so the right sides are out. And this is what it looks like. I top stitch my strap, which also closes that big opening. And it kind of makes it gives it a nice finish to top stitch it. Then after that, you'll just need to get you a safety pin and 
take the strap through the casings and that'll make your little armhole openings and put a hem in the bottom and you are done this is the finished look i love big dresses they're so comfortable and cool in the summer so any questions comments leave them in the um comment section below thanks for watching